All right. So, there's some drama. There's drama, folks. There's drama. Uh, the Washington Post has suspended one of the only people that work there that, in my opinion, makes the Washington Post worth anything. The Washington Post has suspended Dave Weigel over a sexist retweet. I love this. All right. So this is from CNN Business we're reading. The Washington Post has suspect, suspended reporter Dave Weigel for one month without pay for retweeting a sexist joke to people familiar with the matter told CNN on Monday. I love that one month without pay. That's fucked up, honestly. Weigel did not respond to a request for comment, but an out-of-office reply from his post email address said that he would return to work on July 5. Weigel apologized publicly last week for the retweet, saying he did not mean to cause any harm. So, if you want to know what the tweet was... <sighs> Every girl is bi! You just have to figure out if it's polar or sexual. <laughs> you got retweet. You got suspended for retweeting, like boomer memes. <laughs> I saw this yesterday, and I was fucking losing it. I saw this and I laughed. I was laughing so fucking hard. And you know what I'm thinking to myself. This is what Dave Weigel should have said. Retweet. That was a, an opinion of somebody, but, and that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't take a position. I don't take a position. Oh. That's funny. That's funny. I don't know, man. I'm not offended by this. This is like just really like generic boomer comedy. Like, it, and it's not even like, I, I don't, I'm not even convinced that this is posted sincerely. I'm like, I'm convinced that this is like ironic. Um, and so anyway, let's continue reading this though. Cause this is really funny. Citing a need for privacy. I mean, oh my God. Weigel's retweet spotlighted publicly by his colleague, Felicia Sonmez, who recently had a discrimination lawsuit against the paper dismissed. A decision her attorney has said she plans to appeal. Sonmez sarcastically wrote on Twitter on Friday that it is fantastic to work at a news outlet where retweets like this are allowed. She attached a screen grab showing Weigel's retweet, which was a tweet from YouTuber Cam Harless, who joked, every girl is bi, you just have to figure out if it's polar or sexual. Sonmez, according to messages obtained by CNN, also confronted Weigel in an internal company Slack channel. She tagged him and wrote, I'm sorry, but what is this? Sonmez added in the Slack channel that the retweet sent a confusing message about what the post's values are. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, okay? I don't know who Sonmez is, but I know who Dave Weigel is. I don't agree with Dave Weigel on everything. I think he's, he's pretty lib brain, but I think he also does some decent reporting, so... That's, those are my biases. But also, as someone that values humor and despises overreacting to humor, I think this is one of the dumbest overreactions I've ever seen. Now, if Dave Weigel was like, had a consistent pattern of being like a misogynist and it was like something that was a problem and it was well documented and he was like posting that in a sincere fashion, okay, maybe. But it's such an obvious joke. I, I, it doesn't, it's not even really offensive. Honestly, I don't, can you imagine being offended by this? I really can't. And then also suspending him for a month without pay. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Like they're just taking away his money. Like they're essentially fining him one month's worth of pay. That's kind of fucked up. Like, I'm just, honestly, that's a little fucked up. Like, it's one thing if you, like, go to him and say, hey, 
you know, little bad taste, you know, what's going on with that? Um, you know, maybe you should take it down or don't do it again. But I mean, okay. I don't know. It's just it's a little fucked up. But also, more than anything else, the most important thing about this is that it's hilarious. Every layer is hilarious. The fact that Dave Weigel would, would retweet that. The fact that someone would tweet that to begin with, hilarious. But right. the joke, not funny. And that's what makes it funny. It's like a so bad it's good kind of thing. It's like an anti-joke, right? So the fact that he would retweet the joke, hilarious. The fact that someone would actually have been offended by this, hilarious, right? The fact that the Washington Post suspended him over this, hilarious. Every single possible layer to this is just really funny. Um, and so I just wanted to start today's show off with something really funny. Oh, wait. The Post's chief spokesperson said, Editors have made clear that the staff, to the staff, that that tweet was reprehensible and demeaning. Language or actions like that would not be reprehensible and demeaning. <laughs> My God, man. My God. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Is this a joke? Retweet. That was a, an opinion of somebody. But, and that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. That. I don't the take president. a position. You're not like some reprehensible and demeaning. Now, this is, again, coming from the Washington Post. Owned by Jeff Bezos, the Washington Post, which for the last at least 10 years, right, has reached, uh, and you know, obviously media before that is, is a whole different ballgame, but you know, I'm, I'm 26, so I haven't been reading the news since fucking 1990s, right? But it, ever since I've ever read any Washington Post article, all they do is defend politicians, defend billionaires, Defend billionaires that employ slave labor overseas, right? Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, the idea that a retweet is reprehensible and demeaning, but being owned by a billionaire that profits off of slave labor, that's just fine. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like, this shit is just embarrassing. It's just so funny. I mean, again, this this so-called joke, it's not even a joke. Like, it's like, it's a, like, I've heard this literally, like, like, as a child, I, I've heard this. This is, it's an anti-joke. It's so unfunny that it, it gains humor in how unfunny it is, right? I don't know, man. That's just really funny. I like this whole scenario is hilarious. And goddamn, that's fucking funny. Oh, that's so funny. So anyway, start the show off with a little funniness. Get us into a good mood before we talk about the end of the world. Um, 